Hey guys, in this video we'll be setting up a React development environment from scratch and then downloading and running a, an example React application to see that everything that we've installed is working correctly. The tools that you need to develop and run React applications are listed here in this uh, tutorial that I'll link to in the video description below so you can follow along. First, we'll be installing Node.js and NPM. Node.js is the JavaScript runtime environment that we'll be using to build and test our React application. And NPM is the package manager used for uh, downloading and installing uh, Node.js package manage, uh, packages. So those are packages that are written in JavaScript and built to run on Node.js. React itself is a Node.js package. Then we'll be installing the git CLI, which is used for cloning and managing git code repos. Um, so, for example, the uh, projects that are hosted on GitHub, you, you can clone and download using the git CLI. Thirdly, we'll be installing Visual Studio Code, which uh, is a code editor, and we're using that to edit the actual um, React code. And finally, we'll be um, putting it all together and running our example React app. All right, starting off, let's install Node.js and NPM. So I'll jump over to the download link here and selecting the installer that I need to download. Once that's downloaded, run the installer. And you can leave all of the default options selected, so just clicking Next through each of these screens and click install. Once that's done you can click finish and close that tab and to test that that's installed correctly just jump down a little bit here you can see here there's a couple of commands that we can run so I'll bring up the a command prompt window in Windows S typing cmd enter and by typing node-v should give us the node version that we've just installed and npm which comes bundled with node so type npm v minus v we get the npm version that we've installed as well so I'll pin that command window to the taskbar as we'll be using that later also um, I should also mention that I'm running here on a brand new virtual Windows 10 machine here, so that's um, why everything is being done from scratch here. The only change that I've made is install Google Chrome. So everything is done from scratch. Uh, the next step, let's install the Git CLI. So I'll jump to the download link here and select download. Once that's downloaded, open that executable. And just like with Node, leave everything default selected. And click through the options and click install. We don't need to see the new, new release notes. Uh, next, uh, close that tab. Then scrolling down, we can see that we can test it in the same way in the command line with a dash dash version. Uh, parameter to the git command. So if we type git dash dash version, it should give us the version that we've just installed. So that means that's installed successfully. Third, let's install VS Code, a code editor. I'll jump to that link. Let's select the download. Run the downloaded file. This warning you don't have to worry about, it's just because I'm an administrator of this machine, so it's asking me if I want to download the system installer rather than the user installer that I selected. I only want to install it for this user, so I'll click OK. And as with the other tools that we've installed, I'll leave all of the default options selected. When that's finished, you can leave the Launch Visual Studio Code box selected and click Finish. And once that's launched, that will confirm that it has been installed correctly. So 
as we can see with the welcome screen that VS Code has been installed correctly. I'll pin that to the taskbar as well so it's easy to access later. Close that tab. Um, so now our dev environment is all set up. And moving on to the final step, we can test that it's all working by actually cloning and running an example React application on our, on our new dev machine. So I'll clone this, uh, this, the example React application that I'll be running is a boilerplate app, which uh, I won't go into the details of it here as it's outside the scope of this video, but you can find out all the details of it on this link, which uh, goes to another tutorial. Um, so I'll be getting the code by cloning it from GitHub using this command. So if you just copy that command there, and open up a command window, and for simplicity I'll just put it into the downloads folder. Git clone, and then the URL to the GitHub repo, hit enter. That, is, that has cloned that project. And then CD into the project folder. CD into that folder. And then type in uh, npm install or npmi to use the npm CLI to install all of the node package de dependencies. What that's doing is uh, it will look at the package.json file that's in that project folder and install all of the dependencies that are listed within that file. All right, the last step is to start the app, but before I do that, I'll show you the code in VS Code. So there's two ways you can open VS Code. You can open it by clicking the icon and then opening the folder using the menus. You can also open it from the command line using the code command and then passing it the folder path. Since we want it to open the folder we're in, just enter a dot to open the current folder. So you can see here's all of the code for our React application. And the package file here, which uh, these are the dependencies that were all installed and dev dependencies when I executed npm install. And if I jump back to command line now and run npm start, enter that will start our application. Alright, and there you have it, there's our React uh, boilerplate sign up verification application. As I mentioned, I won't go into the details of the app as it's outside of the scope of this video, but you can see that it's all up and running. All right, so that's how you set up a React development environment um, from scratch. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, uh, please like or subscribe below. All right, cheers.